too long, you will have to transplant them out. So I basically place the rocks down the bottom and then I'm placing some soil over the top of that. Each time I want to put a plant in, I'm going to... So I'm about to get started making the terrarium. Um, my friend Kirsty just moved into a new house and so it's part of the housewarming present that I'm giving her. I'm not actually keeping it. Ugh, I'm caught. So yeah, I'm making it for her but I thought it would be a really cute thing to film and just a fun little DIY project. I'm just trying to find something to put it in. Maybe... And something wider, I think. What? Yeah, okay. Bunnings, basically my second home. Bow and he's got the trolley and this heavy stuff I need to put in it. I'm going to put some of these in there. All well, the pretty tiles. Oh, hello. Right outside today. Why don't you smell like maple syrup? Oh, I can smell that too. Oh, I want like a small. Oh, I wish there were smaller ones of these. I'm just listening to an ATP podcast and trying to figure out how I'm going to plant this. Yeah, I mean, I'm filming I my think, behind the scenes. What are you, you know, doing? Well, yes, I um, am. Yeah, I think you must work out. You're obviously going to um, <laughs> consume the other eight six months of eight. My work requirements are that I'll have two breaks. So yeah. basically, there's a chance of success. Yeah, and, and I think this is the thing. It's a balance too between, between getting something in and out yeah, and saying, oh, I didn't okay. worry about it. And if you make me happy, what you count? What you count? I'm going to count the book for the guy. This is the general advice. Um, as a portion of meat and a portion of fats, or a portion of carbohydrates, everything. Yeah. You know, people will look at that and challenge a lot of customers. And at the time, you know, it's actually had a really good one to do for us. So I'm just waiting for my media to import and render, and at the moment, I'm sort of halfway through watching Rachel Anderson's vlog on her vlog channel, Rachel's Life is what it is. Um, what else? So I'm just waiting. Oh yeah, a lot of you were asking what program I use. I use Final Cut Pro. I'm thinking of switching to Adobe Premiere though because I hear it's a lot less laggy. But I don't mind Final Cut Pro for now and it's pretty simple to use once you get used to it. Right now it is 7.30 and I am so tired. I'm just so ready to go to sleep. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for an email because my pal, my internet friend, Jeffrey Boncustano, I always say that wrong, Jeffrey, he um, does a lot of motion graphics and stuff. He's friggin' amazing at it. I would love to be able to hire him if I could. But he sent me a link for a website where I can find some tracks. So where did I put that email? This lighting is probably terrible. I probably look evil because it's coming up this way. All right. Have I, got, have I got my headphones? Yes. Okay. Let's find some music. I always like to do the music first, um, just so that I can base the timing of the video clips off the music. So I've gone 
through and I've decided I'm actually not even going to colour grade it because I'm really happy with how it turned out just pretty much raw from the camera. So I went and added in some text. I'll show you guys. Hang on. I just have to do the voiceover, so I'll do that in the morning. As always, I'm going to use... Um, I really want to get like a nice mic set up, but I'm just waiting until I move houses so that... I don't know, I just don't want to move more stuff than I have to. But I'm going to use my Rode mic on my phone and use the Rode application and record my voiceover. Uh, but that was really simple. I really like DIY videos and like I said way at the start, which is probably when I filmed the start of this section, it might have been two and a half weeks ago. Um, I just work on my videos bit by bit whenever I get some time. I do like DIYs and this is from my friend Kirsty and I don't know, DIYs, because I really like making stuff but I don't want to keep all the stuff so it's awesome when I can give people gifts and I can film the DIY as well. And plus editing DIYs is great because they're normally pretty short videos and I can get a little bit creative with them. If you guys keep watching after this, I'm going to add on the behind the scenes of my skincare routine. on a skincare routine video. The last skincare routine I did was when my scarring was really really bad on my skin and I showed how to clean that up a little bit. Now my skincare routine is a lot softer and I'm trying to use more organic products if I can. So I'm just going to show my morning routine because morning and night are different and it's kind of hard to film it all together because it looks like you do so much but I don't really have too many steps involved in my morning routine so that's what I'm going to show. The theme that I'm going for, I really want it quite I know it sounds different for me, but I want to use a lot of red hues and a lot of pink hues and I want everything fresh and natural looking so I'm using a lot of fruits, like red fruits and some flowers as well. These are the flowers that I got. I'm not sure what all of them are. I just asked the florist to use like dark reds and then some light pinks as well. Got Zoe on the emails again. Stealing boyfriend's shirt is a good way to not get your own shirts dirty. So I think I'm going to film these little clips. I'm getting some in-between clips of the products. I've got to make sort of a background for it. So I'm using this desktop. This used to be my makeup table. If you've seen my old house tour, you'll see that I had a makeup table. Um, so that's from that. I just kept the top of it because it's really good for flat lays and stuff and I don't want to dirty my coffee table. And then I think I'm going to use my 5D Mark II and a 50mm lens for this. These are my fruits. Yes, I finally found the white ones. They're, it's so much harder to get these. I thought the white ones were the most common ones. Though. Every time I bought them, I only ever get pink ones. Because until now, at Nanny's old place, her neighbors grew dragon fruit, and they were always yes. the white ones. Yeah, I know. But whenever I go to like fruit shops and stuff, I always end up getting those. Oh, I'm going to try and do a really shallow depth of field. Uh, 
am I doing? How do I... So I just finished filming the products on the fruit flat lay and I finished filming some little clips of the flowers as well. I have to try and figure out how I want to make the background because I think I want to film it tomorrow morning because my skin, like, if I take off my makeup now, my skin will be quite agitated because I've had to remove makeup. So I think I want to film the actual skincare section of it in the morning when my skin is fresh and hasn't had any makeup on it. I'm going to eat some of this fruit. There is, there is a whole lot of it. So I put a piece of semi sheer cloth over the top of my macro lens, 100mm 2.8L macro lens, and that's what I'm filming these little in-between use of the product pictures with, and also some of the shots of like the waking up morning sort of look. Hey guys, so I'm in my new little filming room. I can have all of my camera stuff in one room. Yes, so excited. Um, I didn't get to film me editing this video. I really wanted to film me editing it, but I had this camera left at my new house and then I was editing at the old house and I had to edit it quite quickly. I had all the footage, I just hadn't clipped it together. And moving house has made my skin break out. The irony is so strong that I did a skincare routine. My skin was looking freaking amazing. And then I move and every time I move house, my skin breaks out a bit. It'll clear up in like a week. It'll be fine. Um, what was I going to show you? Oh yeah, if you've made it this far through, because I'm pretty sure this is a long video so far. Like I've edited everything before this point. It's like 11 minutes 30. So if you've made it this far, leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite type of food is. I want to see who makes it this far. And I'm also genuinely curious. So I'll just show you some of these little bits and pieces. Okay, can you see? This is my behind the scenes. Um, skincare. All right. As you can see, there's a few layers. Like, it's nothing too excessive. Now the main thing I guess that people were commenting on is these macro shots. I showed you guys how I got those. That was that macro lens. And I put the, what do you call it, like the sheer fabric around the edge of my lens for some of the shots like these ones here. So you can see, ooh, is it too, too light? It's quite white and soft around there. And same as the clips in the beginning, that's actually on the lens, like that's not a filter. I did do some overlays of like light leaks and stuff. So for example, you can see the little dust particles and the light. Okay, so they're just little clips. Let me see. So that sort of thing, I've overlaid it over there. It's so funny with these sort of videos as well, like every now and again, you'll probably notice like every few weeks I have like quite a creative, arty sort of video and it's just for me to show what I can do and to just see myself what I can do now and how far I'm progressing with video work and it's funny because you'll get people like, oh it's so pretentious and I'm like, I, I'm just trying to make something pretty, like I'm not trying to show a personality or anything. If I was filming a model or another person no one would say anything like that, but I guess because it's me in the video and I'm trying to do something creative, people take that as being pretentious. So weird. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys here. This is probably quite a lengthy video. Um, today I'm actually getting my eyebrows like feather touched in just to change the shape a little bit. I'm so excited. I think I might vlog because I've got a movie premiere to go to tonight as well. I should vlog. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!